six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
good morning and welcome. The graduates, good morning and welcome. The graduates, board of trustees, faculty, and staff join me in welcoming you as we celebrate the graduating class of 2021. This past year has been a challenge and a year of growth. We've all suffered traumatic losses of one form or another, but the stories that we tell ourselves about those losses, the narratives we create in our minds, frame how we'll remember it. As the class of 2021, you lost your vision of what your eighth grade year was going to be, and there was nothing your parents, teachers, or I could change that. Some people may say that in the big scheme of things, your loss was not that significant. And to a degree, maybe they're right, but I would push back thinking of you. You can never get back what you lost to this year. The places you would have gone, experiences you would have shared, memories that you would have built. And yet, here you are today, sitting exactly where you would have been, doing exactly what you would have been doing if there had not been a pandemic. So what narrative will you tell yourself about the year? The fact is you have faced an historic challenge over the last 15 months. The narrative that you create about yourselves should include that even in your loss, you made the most of the opportunities your parents and teachers provided for you. You gained strength from the challenges you faced, built different memories, and built deep relationships that can only be built when people struggle together. No one will ever forget this year, the year of the pandemic. But we won't forget you either, the class that not only survived the pandemic, but grew in spite of it. You will be remembered as compassionate, strong, wise, self-reliant, and certainly more resilient than any of us ever knew you could be. I'm blown away by all that you have accomplished individually and as a class. You have the power and the drive to change our world for the better. And deep in my heart, I know that you will. It's human nature to reflect on what matters most when you face really difficult times. So as you begin your summer, I'd like for you to think about this. Everyone has a why what we're meant to do on this earth. The thing that makes you happy and gets you out of bed in the morning. The thing that fills your heart with satisfaction, pride, and joy. Finding your own, your own why is the key to happiness in life. So here's what I wish for you. Find your why, do what you love, learn something new every day, Listen with an open heart. Share your unique contributions unapologetically with the world. And always live the core values of Brown Academy. We talk about graduation as if it's the end of some journey, but it's really the beginning of one. The chance to see the world differently, to meet new people, to contribute, to understand more deeply, and to act in new ways. Each one of you is uniquely special with incredible talents. Set your expectations high and work hard. All good things come from hard work. And now, class of 2021, the loving support of this entire Brown community goes with you as you leave us today. You are now and always will be Bruins. Students who have been at Brown Academy continuously since their preschool years are affectionately known as lifers. The following class of 2021 are lifers. Would you please stand when I call your name? Sydney Bonner. Logan Brooks. Gabriela Gomez. Applause 
Ella Ruger. And I must say, in shy of just one year, Abby Zadarecki. <laughs> thank you all, and thank you parents for your trust in us. It's now my distinct honor to introduce the student council co-presidents, and then the students will begin their reflections. Gabriela Gomez, oh, I'm sorry, Gabriela Gomez, and Logan Brooks. Good morning. My name is Logan Brooks, and I've been at Brown for 10 years, making me a life firm. I'm the last Brooks graduating from Brown. Sorry, Tyler and Mackenzie, I'm the legacy. <laughs> My time at Brown has meant so much to me because of the wonderful moments I've shared with my friends. I will always remember when Simone, Jane, Maya, and I shared a tent at Mountain Campus. I psyched myself out by wanting to see a bear, <laughs> and it caused me to have trouble falling asleep. All four of us were up talking about everything for hours, and then Mr. March had to come over to our tent at 4 a.m. to tell us to be quiet. Well, we all got closer from that moment on. I've learned so many valuable life skills at Brown. I've learned about taking what I'm passionate about and implementing it into the real world. In English, history, and science, I've learned to form a strong opinion and to argue my case. I have learned to be fascinated by events I see on the news and by the science in the world around me. During my time at Brown, I have become passionate about a great variety of topics and will continue to explore them in my time at high school. I want to, I want to thank all the faculty and staff for making this year the best under the circumstances. I want to say, to say a huge thanks to Ms. Hughes, who could not be here today, who helped me in guided studies from, seventh, from fifth to seventh grade. Also, to Mr. Senny, for always giving me a long and detailed explanation when I asked a question. <laughs> also, thank you, Ms. Cheney, Ms. Carker, Ms. Gerber, and Mr. March for a great two years in each of your classes. I cannot forget to thank one additional person, Sydney, who always, an <laughs> who always answered my FaceTime calls when I needed help and who was always there for me for my highs and lows. I also want to thank, offer thanks to my mom and my dad for always being there being there for me, helping me, and always believing in me in every way. I cannot put it into words on how much you both mean to me. Also, I have to end by thanking Tyler and Mackenzie. Mackenzie, thank you for always being there for me and helping me with my math. I cannot wait to see your future as you continue your journey at the University of Tennessee. Tyler, thank you for helping me, even though you annoy me sometimes. <laughs> You're my big brother, I'm your little sister, and we love each other. This is the end of the road for the class of 2021 at Brown. But the new road starts now. 
we we all will go out in the world and make it the best it can be because of what Brown taught us. You are all my family and family is forever. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Good afternoon, Miss Peggy Odie. Oh, um, my gosh. <laughs> Good afternoon, Miss Peggy Odie, teachers, staff, family, and most importantly, my fellow graduating class mates. <laughs> my name is Gabriela Gomez, and it is a bittersweet moment to be standing on this <laughs> to be standing on this stage one last time as a Brown Academy student to speak at our graduation. Though I have been a part of the Brown Academy community all my life, my academic journey began when I started in preschool yellow 11 years ago. Before, before, before I made my own Bruin family, it's, it's cool to know that the roots of my immediate family grew here long before I was even imagined. Though, through my mother's legacy, who has worked here since she was 16, and my older sister, who was also a lifer and graduated in 2014, I am proud to call Brown Academy a second home. Brown was not, an, was not only a place I learned how to count to 100 or how yummy cicadas can be, but how, but also, the place where I could, where I learned how to be a true friend and an active member of my community. A place where you aren't only judged by your grades, but the content of your character and the kind of person you are on and off campus. There's a quote from Winnie the Pooh, which goes, promise me you'll always remember you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. When I think of, when I think of what Brown has meant to me, this comes to mind. There has been an endless amount of teachers, staff, after school counselors, camp counselors, and other parents that have helped me be braver, stronger, and yes, smarter. Through them, I have mastered social skills, fine motor skills, reading, writing, comprehension, and finally, math skills. Right, Ms. Cheney? <laughs> I have also learned life skills that I plan to take with me through anything that life throws at me. I feel Brown has given me has given me the necessary tools to become the person I am meant to be. Just as Brown just just as Brown has left its mark on me, I hope I've done the same through it, through my spirit and light I've tried to bring to the school every day. I would like to take a moment to thank my classmates for the for taking this journey with me. One of my favorite memories at Brown was, was when we used to have a talent show at the Family Fun Festival, when Simone, Gabrielle, Madison, and Amaral and me all did a group dance that my sister had choreographed. Recently, I found the video of it, and I realized that it wasn't as great as we thought. <laughs> <laughs> but we still gave it our all. I think that... I think that it's something that I've learned at Brown, how to give it my all, how to be brave and to take things that I've learned and make them my own. You guys know the, you guys know that there are tons of memories that I can share, but we would be graduating high school. <laughs> that we, but we would be graduating high school before I could get through them all. I do hope you all know how fun and rewarding it has been to be have all of these friends. <laughs> no matter no matter what grade we met. Thank you to each teacher who has patiently stood by my side, keeping me on, keeping me on track and holding my hand and letting go when it was needed. I would I would like to especially thank those teachers who saw me for who it was. I appreciate you all for never losing your patience. Patience, I pushed you. 
and pushing me to become the young lady I am. I hope you all know who you are and how much I love and honor you. To my family, thank you for the laughs. Thank you for the laughs, tears, hugs, kisses, and arguments. Thank you for the long nights helping me with last minute pro pro projects and for all of your advice, love, and encouragement. Dad, thank you for being my true hero and my protector. To my big sister, thank you for, thank you for being my role model. And you, thank you for being the role model you are. I've always looked up to you and I hope to make you proud, proud, proud and be as passionate as you are as you are one day. To my little sister, sister, there is no one like you. <laughs> Don't ever change. Thank you for always for the laughs and keeping the family on our toes. <laughs> and Miss Janet, my mother, you've cheated so many children. <laughs> you cheated so many cheated so many children as, as your kids over the years. You, you still have make your girls feel special every day. <laughs> Through all of the lessons you've taught me, I especially thank you for making sure that I'm always, I'm always kind and filled with self, self, self love. Oh, and I can't forget, always make good choices. <laughs> I love you guys so much. And without you, I'd be nowhere near the girl I am today. <laughs> I would like to end with a quote from Harriet Tubman, a, cur a courageous and powerful wo woman who said, every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always, rem always, remember, <coughs> always, rem always remember you have within you the strength, the, strength, the patience, and the p passion to reach for the st stars and change the world. Congratulations, class of 2021. Good morning, teachers, staff, family, and most importantly, my fellow graduates. My name is Deva Arco, and I have been at Brown for the past three years. Brown, to me, is a place of opportunity and community. We have a community that loves and respects everyone, no matter their race or skin color, and no matter their identity. During my time at Brown, I had the opportunity to try new things. For example, I went to Mountain Campus, and there we went hiking, canoeing, zip lining, and more. These are all acti activities I never thought I would have the courage to do. Being able to experience these activities and enjoy them taught me that as long as you put your mind to it and build up enough courage, you're going to accomplish whatever challenge is in front of you. I came to Brown in sixth grade not knowing that I would accomplish so much with the support of my teachers and friends. Joining the basketball team in sixth grade and seventh grade is a decision I will never regret. Yes, the practices and games were hard, but to have your friends and teammates there to cheer you on and laugh with you makes it all fun. Before I leave, I would like to give a huge amount of thanks to Ms. Carker. You're an amazing history teacher and everything you've done has meant so much to me. Thank you for understanding and having the patience to help me with C-SPAN and any other work. Thank you to Ms. Gerber for making grammar fun. I am deeply thankful for all the essays you read before I turned them in. I appreciate the time you took on the weekends to go over my work and to give me feedback. Your support is greatly appreciated. Huge thanks to Mr. March for making science class interactive and fun. Thank you for everything you've done, the fun lessons and activities you plan. I always look for, forward to science class. Lastly, I would like to thank Ms. Cheney for making math class amazing. Thank you for your hard work and dedication. I am extremely thankful for all the lessons you have taught me and the inspiration you gave me to help me succeed. I will, lastly, I would like to thank my classmates for making the past three years of my life unforgettable, fun, and rewarding. The memories we created will forever live in my heart. But lastly, I would like to give a huge amount of thanks to my parents. Thank you, thank you for giving me so much to be grateful for. I feel grateful to, and blessed to have parents like you in my life. Thank you for the support emotionally and financially over the past years. Because of your guidance, I am standing here graduating from Brown. 
now that we have all passed the challenges of middle school, it's time for us to move on to high school. To my classmates, as we move on, I hope that you're able to take away something from Brown that will help you throughout your lives in high school. I hope you all enjoy high school and make the best out of it. I'm extremely grateful to all of you and I wish the best of luck to the class of 2021. Uh, good morning. My name is Rhett Barron, and I came to Brown in the middle of my seventh grade year. Out of the five schools I've attended, Brown has been one of the easiest to adjust to. Brown Academy has always been a fun place to learn. I've learned a good amount not about, about not just academics, but also about people and being empathetic. Brown has helped me become a better person who tries to see things from others' points of view. One of my favorite things about Brown is being on the basketball team. I'm not the greatest at basketball, and the one half-court shot I took hit Gabby straight in the face, but it was still a fun experience overall. I'd like to thank all of my teachers, and specifically Mr. March and Ms. Cheney, for being my seventh and eighth grade advisors. I appreciate Mr. March for his unique teaching style, and Ms. Cheney for encouraging us to work smarter, not harder. Ms. Gerber for allowing and encouraging open discussions, Ms. Car Ms. Carker for always having fun activities, Mr. Post and Mr. Rin for making PE fun, and Ms. Meyer for <laughs> allowing us to use word reference in Spanish. I'd also like to thank Sydney and Wyatt for making school classes, lunch, and recess funny and interesting, and especially Hugh for reminding us, reminding me about celebrating differences. Brown Academy has helped me become not just a better student, but a better person, and I'm grateful for my time here. Good luck to the class of 2021, and a final thank you to my parents and all the people at Brown who have helped make my time here entertaining and ensuring that no two days were the same. Good morning. My name is Sydney Bonner, and I'm a lifer at Brown Academy. My sister Brianna was a lifer as well, and I'm glad that I can help her carry on the Bonner legacy at Brown. Brown has guided me my whole life to not only accomplish greatness in school, but outside of it as well. I've learned so many things here at Brown, including the core values of character, community, excellence, and diversity. I know that I will carry these lessons with me throughout high school and beyond. Here at Brown, I made so many mem wonderful memories as well. One of my favorite memories was fifth grade mountain campus. We were all in the lake messing around and having fun. We were allowed to use paddle boards and we kept on trying to hit each other off just as a fun little game. That was one fun trip and I'm happy that I can always carry that memory special times with my friends. Another one of my favorite memories was in fifth or sixth grade PE. We were playing a soccer game, and William and I ran out at the exact same time. We ended up running into each other. The best part was how Mr. Post got it on slow-mo. <laughs> we re-watched that video over and over, and it still made us laugh every time. These memories wouldn't have been able to be possible without the help and support of the faculty and staff here at Brown. I owe all my teachers great thanks for everything that they have done for me from preschool through eighth grade. I would also like to thank my family for helping me to guide and support me. We have our happy moments, sad moments, funny moments, but in the end, we, all be, we always love each other. Memories are made in my family just like our Brown Academy, and these memories will always stick with me as well. One of my favorite memories was how my dad had lost my phone in Mexico. Hey dad, you never gonna live that one down. So, in conclusion, I am really happy my parents chose Brown Academy, and I love them very much. Memories were made, goals were accomplished, and so much more. I wish the best to the class of 2021, and, when I, and I would like to leave you guys off with the quote. As the famous martial artist Bruce Lee once said, do not pray for an easy life, 
Pray for the strength to endure a difficult one. Thank you. Good morning, Brown family. As you know, my name is Simone, and I have attended Brown Academy for six years. When I first came to Brown, I remember going to the annual barbecue meet and greet. The first person who spoke to me was Ella while we were jumping on the bouncy house. Ella said, hey, I remember you. Didn't you visit last year? My name is Eleanor. What is yours? I felt so welcomed, and from then on, I knew I was in a special place. There are so many memories to recall, but a few have really stuck with me. My first big memory was in fourth grade when Emerald, Madison, Gabby, and I decided to create our own business. I was in charge of making lotion, which consisted of conditioner, Vaseline, Bath and Body Works perfume, a dash of honey, and baking soda. Based on the ingredients, you can probably tell this did not end well. <laughs> After making our first $2, Everyone was asking for a refund, chanting, this is itchy, why is my skin red? <laughs> we were scared we would get in trouble, so we handed the money back. My second big memory was in fifth grade when Gabby, William, and I were in tech class. We were playing a board game, and William boosted his character across the board, singing, boost in a bottle. Gabby and I died out laughing, and we created the song, boost in a bottle, you gotta say it now, boost in a bottle. <laughs> No walk down memory lane would, complete, would be complete without acknowledging my twin sister, Deva, who has always referred to me as family. Not only did Mr. Post confuse our names, but my parents confused our pictures. <laughs> I would like to give a thanks to God for blessing me with a wonderful family and life. I would also like to give a few thank yous to Ms. Carker for never giving up on me and making sure to give me tough love. I would like to thank Ms. Cheney for stepping out of the stereotypical math teacher role and being a fun, loving, and caring teacher. <laughs> Ms. Schaefer for being cool, laid back, and the most understanding teacher ever. And the Gomez family. <laughs> the Gomez family for always treating me as one of their own. <laughs> Lastly, I would like to thank my parents for never giving up on me and making sure I strive to do the best and be the best that I can be. You guys are my biggest cheerleaders and I'm so grateful for your support. Congratulations, Class of 2021. Thank you. Good morning. Hello, my name is David Glover Barr. I have been at Brown Academy for three years. Brown Academy has meant a lot to me. I learned how to be more involved in the community, whether that be giving back or helping a cause. Additionally, I learned to think more creatively in my assignments, such as the C-SPAN documentary and the music podcast assignments. In high school, I would know I would use these skills to further enhance my education and to solve more complex problems. I would like to thank my middle school teachers for educating me and helping me when I needed it the most. Additionally, I would like to thank my parents for supporting me through my years at Brown and paying for my education. <laughs> I'd like to thank my classmates for giving me such fun times and memories to reminisce in. As you may know, I am an anime fan. One of my favorite characters, Inuyasha, has some of the best advice that I would like to share with you today. He says, you have two legs and a heartbeat. What's stopping you? To me, this means that you can do anything. Class of 21, you can do anything. And I wish you all the best as you reach your dreams.
Good morning. My name is William Jackson, and I've been attending Brown for five years. I've had so many amazing experiences at this wonderful school. Brown Academy has been a place where I call my second home. It is a place to express myself, find new friends, and create memories. I have a lot of memories, in fact. Let's start with fourth grade. My favorite memory that there was when, my favorite memory there is when it was, a, it, was, it was a country day or something where we had to dress like where we had a certain country. It was so fun. I learned, I learned more about different countries all around the world and mine personally was Sweden. Also, the food was outstanding. <laughs> my next favorite memory was sixth grade where we did a Roman Senate simulation. We got, to play, we got to place bounties on people and hire bodyguards for ourselves. The tensions made the experiences better and more fun. And I, learned, and, I learned a lot about, and I learned a lot about how things worked back in that time period. Now on to seventh grade. And it was, at, it was a Mount Campus memory. That year we went on a, that we, that year we went on a back, backpacking trip and it was hilarious. The reason I call it funny is because while we were sleeping in a tent, these kids near, these kids near our tent started playing frisbee with their car lights on. They were yelling at the top of their lungs, and they were trying not to make us sleep. On the bright side, no bears came to attack us that night. And that brings me to eighth grade. My favorite memory this year is when we had a mock trial in history class. That was, that was about how Native Americans should be recognized as the sovereign nation, and I was supporting the Native Americans. What make this my favorite memory is because I got to object to, eat, to each other, to, I got to object to other people, and it was a fun and engaging way to learn about more people and their experiences. Also, this year I got to meet a new student and become a great friend with, friends with them, Nate Middleton. One of the, all of these great memories is why coming to Brown was always an adventure. I have truly enjoyed my time here at Brown Academy, and I promise to carry all the, all the lessons that I've learned with me to high school and beyond. I wish my classmates the best. Thank you. My name is Gabrielle Johnson, and I have attended Brown since the third grade. Brown is like my second home. This is where I've met many good friends whom I hope to keep now that our time has come to an end. I've learned how to incorporate the four core values into my daily life during my time here. I've also picked up a number of skills, like public speaking and writing an essay that I'll carry over to high school and beyond. Brown has shaped me into the person I am today. I would like to thank all my teachers from third to eighth grade you have all made a huge impact on my learning here at Brown. I also want to say thank you to my Aunt Becky and Aunt Rosalie for always coming to my performances here at Brown. And I would also like to say a very special thank you to my mom and dad for the love and support they have given me my whole life. For the future, I hope I will always strive to do my very best to become an excellent leader when I am in high school. Even though I'm leaving Brown, I'll never forget the memories I made here. I wish nothing but the best for the class of 2021. Hello, I'm Chelsea Coe. I've attended Brown for six years, preschool blue and green, and then fifth or eighth grade. In this time, I've learned hundreds of valuable lessons that I will continue to remember in years to come. Brown's comforting and welcoming experience has helped me come out of my shell. I remember shadowing in fourth grade. I was so nervous. Everyone instantly made me feel like I was home. When, when I walked in, I was immediately greeted by Gabby, and she yelled to Cooper and Sydney from across the room, do you remember Chelsea from preschool? From that day on, each day, everyone always finds a way to make me smile, even when I show up in a bad mood. I want to give thanks to my teachers for helping me excel. Thank you to all of my classmates for pushing me out of my comfort zone. And I've learned to enjoy and savor all the friendships I have here. I will treasure every memory I've made here, even the one time I had to sit in freezing cold water for two hours at Mountain Campus, but it was okay because at the end I won the canoe race. <laughs> but really, thank you to the entire community for helping me grow into the person, student, colleague, and friend I am today. Every day as Brown Academy students, we strive to implement the school's core values 
character, community, diversity, and excellence into everything we do. Moving forward, I will continue to implement these values in my life, but not as a Brown Academy student, as a proud gra Brown Academy graduate. Finally, I wish the best for all of my classmates. I'll miss you and I will cherish our friendships and moments we've shared together. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jane Marshall and I've been here at Brown since second grade. During my time at Brown, I have made many, many memories and had have and I've had lots of fun. At Brown, I've had I've made many great friends to whom I've grown closer throughout the years. Brown has meant a lot to me because I've spent my whole life here and not if not at school then at camp. I have literally been here since my mom was pregnant with me. Brown is my second <laughs> home. I have learned at Brown that it does not matter who you are and that people will always be there for you. When I go to high school, I'm going to cherish all, my, all the memories that I've, had ma that I've made here. Finally, I want to offer a few thank yous. Thank you to my close friends for helping me get through school and, all, and for always being a lot of fun. I want to thank my family for being there for me and also helping me get through all the tough times. Lastly, I want to thank all of my teachers for their support with my many assignments. I hope my classmates can have a great time at high school and I can also have a great time at high school myself and we can all pursue our dreams. I will miss you all and I would like to conclude with a quote from John Wooden. Don't let what you can't do stop you from what you can do. Thank you. Hello? Hello? All right. Wait. Hello? I'm Nathaniel Utah Middleton, and I've spent just around 10 months at Brown Academy. My experience here has really been something great, of a great importance to my future success. The friends that I've made here have been integral to my experience here, making things more enjoyable and entertaining. Brown Academy has improved my academics, brought me new friends, and made my learning experience better than my previous schools that I have attended. The schools that I've learned here will be, will be will help a lot to me and will help me learn a bit more about myself. It will be a difficult experience for some people to transfer from middle school to high school, but I believe it will be easy for me and my peers. We have been all prepared by our experience here. Thank you to all who have supported me and my friends during this period of growth. I'd like to thank a few of my closest friends, Hugh, Wyatt, William, Evan, Thank you for making this Brown Academy experience mean something to me. To conclude my speech, I hope all of those seventh graders entering eighth grade and all of those students joining school enjoy Brown Academy experience as much as I have. Thank you, mother and father, for putting me into this new environment. Thank you, teachers, for contributing to our learning environment and for the many great things you have taught us. Greetings. My name is Bryce Palms and I have attended Brown for two years. First and foremost, I would like to thank my family for helping me get here today. Mom and Dad, thank you. Without your sacrifice, this would not even be possible. Thank you to all the faculty and staff at Brown for your support and help. I, gratefully, I greatly appreciate it and if I gave you a hard time, it's my time to say I apologize. In the next chapter of my life, I will take all of the things I learned here at Brown and apply them to, to, and apply them, 
and order my next foot forward. I have many memories at Brown that I'll cherish forever and friendships that will last a lifetime, both of those which are priceless. I would like to conclude my speech by sharing a quote by Ralph Waldo Emerson. What life, what lies behind us and what lies before us is small, small matters compared to what lies within us. Congratulations, class of 2021, and thank you. Good morning, I'm White Parks, and I've been Brown for four years. Brown has been, a perfect, has been a perfect school for me. I've only been here for four years, but my experience has been essential for preparing me for high school. I will take all of the memories I've made here with, with me and move on to high school and beyond. I appreciate all the faculty and staff, especially Mr. Post and Mr. Wren, who have been with me during soccer and basketball. I'm also grateful to all, the, my, math, all my math, history, English, and uh, science teachers who have taught me how to do simple math all the way to algebra and basic paragraph for, uh, format writing to actual essay. I moved from learning the basics to cells into going depth on the transverse heat. Also learning the beginning of human civilizations to the civil rights in the war of Vietnam. I would also like to give a big thanks to my father and mother who have helped me and supported me throughout my Brad Academy career. Again, thank you for my family and my teachers. I will miss you and for the class of 2021, congratulations and good luck in everything that is ahead of you. I'm Ella Ruger, and I've been at Brown since I was three years old. In short, this is the only school I've ever known. So what has Brown meant to me? Well, it's been a second home, a safe space to show my true colors, and a place where I have been me. When I go off to high school, I will bring along my passion for both school and the arts. Thanks to Brown, I have become who I am today. I want to thank all my preschool teachers, Ms. Lyon and Ms. Janet, for example, who saw me in my er earliest years here at Brown. I also want to give thanks to my lower school teachers, Ms. Lehe, who always had fun things in her closet to hand out, and Ms. Johnson, who always had a smile on her face every time I saw her. Now, for my middle school teachers. I could really go on forever about how truly helpful they are. I first want to say thank you to Ms. Canavo, who has been the most creative teacher I've ever met at Brown to teach history. To Ms. Oberhopper, who has helped me perfect my presentations and slideshows. To Ms. Carker, for always making t time to help me with questions I had. To Ms. Gerber, for choosing the best books for book clubs and the most difficult grammar assignments. To Mr. March, who always played the amazing 80s and 90s music in advisory and who always made me question almost everything I knew about science. And uh, to Ms. Schaefer, who helped me continue my songwriting and helped me in the process of writing Hating on Me, a song for my capstone project. To Mr. Post, who never gave up on me, even when I was having a difficult time trying to understand how to play sport. To Ms. Hughes for always making apples to apples the best card game there is. And finally, to Ms. Cheney. She's been my biggest cheerleader. She's always pointed out the light at the end of the tunnel, tunnel, even when things were hard. She's always been there for me, even when I felt nervous about to do something. Ms. Cheney has made me step out of my comfort zone while also making school fun. And now one more thank you that still needs to be made. From my parents, as long as I can remember, you've always supported me, listened to my ideas, and always been open for a hug whenever needed. I'm still surprised that I'm graduating from Brown. Seems like yesterday I was, I was a kindergartner thinking about how fun graduation would be. My hope for the future is that everyone will get vaccinated and we can finally say goodbye to COVID. I wish the class of 2021 and many more classes to come 
Thank you. After a few days, I knew my parents made the right decision uh, to send me here. Brown has prepared me over the last four years for the best that is yet to come as I head to high school and beyond. Brown has given me so many opportunities and experiences that I will cherish forever. I played in the band, sung in the choir, played basketball and soccer, participated in summer camp and destination imagination. Uh, Brown has given me the chance to find my true friends who I will stay connected with for life. Thank you to all the teachers who I, no, who, ha, who I had at Brown who taught me so much. Mr. March, thanks for being a great science teacher and allowing us to create fun lab experiments. Uh, Ms. Gerber, thanks for being an awesome English teacher and getting me to read some really great books. Uh, Ms. Carker, thanks for being a wonderful history teacher and an awesome eighth grade advisor. Because of you, I kept up with current events that are happening. Uh, Ms. Cheney, thanks for being a great math teacher, believing in me, uh, being there to answer to all my questions, and helping me understand algebra. Uh, to my parents, my biggest supporters, you do so much for me, and I cannot thank you enough. To my mom, the bridge sign was fine, but putting my picture was a li little bit extra. Uh, <laughs> but as you always say, everything I do for you, I do it because I love you. Love you too. Uh, to my sister, Lindsay, I cannot wait to see you in the fall in the halls of McNamara. Thank you for being a wonderful sister. To my, and to my brother, Louis, my grandparents, and the rest of my family and friends, thank you all for your support you have shown me and continue to show me. In closing, um, a quote from Michelle Obama that says, don't be afraid, be focused, be determined, be empowered. Uh, best of luck, classmates. I will miss you all and the Brown Academy community. Thank you. Thank you. Well, My name is Charlotte Smith, and I've been at Brown for two years. Even though my time here has been short, it feels like I've been here for a lot longer. Being at Brown has changed me not only as a student, but as a person. It has showed me that I'm capable of doing things that I, ne that I never could have imagined doing before, whether that be managing my time, better time management, collaborating with others, or opening up to people and being my real self. I will take all that I've learned at Brown with me as I move on to high school and beyond. I would like to thank my teachers that have taught me on this journey. Thank you for not only furthering my academic knowledge, but also teaching me about myself and in in all that I'm capable of doing. Next, I would like to thank my parents. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom, for always being there for me and sticking by my side no matter what, and for always listening to everything I have to tell you. I also want to thank my father for working so hard and providing with me, providing me with everything I need to succeed. I will, ever, I will forever be grateful. Thank you to both of my parents once again for being my biggest cheerleader and supporting me in everything I do, whether that be in school, swim, or any other interest. Lastly, I would like to thank my classmates for the endless laughs and endless support and many memories. As I leave Brown, I want to say one more thank you for everything. I hope that everyone in the graduating class of 2021 is successful in whatever they choose to do in life. Congratulations. Good morning. Um, my name is Maya Soares, and I've been at Brown Academy since the fourth grade. 
If someone asked me to pick a favorite moment of mine, I wouldn't be able to answer them. I have loved every minute at Brown, and I will always remember it. Brown has meant a lot to me. I have learned so much academically, and I've grown as a person. Brown has given me so many different opportunities. I have become a more diligent student, learned to work in groups, and improve in my public speaking. I believe all these skills will help me during high school. I remember my first day at Brown when I was greeted by Mrs. Johnson. I was very hesitant and shy, but Brown felt like family by the end of the first day. I have made so many friends, and these friendships will always be with me. I would like to thank all of my classmates for always understanding and believing in me, even when I didn't believe in myself. I could always count on my friends, and thank you to all my teachers for always being there and pushing me to achieve my fullest potential. I would like to thank the staff for supporting us with everything we need, especially this year with COVID. I always knew that I was coming to a school that was clean and safe no matter what. Thank you to all the administrators for creating programs that give us the opportunity to try new things. I would also like to thank my parents for supporting me in everything I do. I am very excited to continue my academic journey at St. John's High School. I hope to expand my creative projects and continue traveling the world. I wish you all the best from the class of 2021. Thank you. Hello, my name is Hugh Sullivan, and I've been at Brown since fourth grade. Attending Brown had been a great experience, and I've been able to make wonderful memories with long-lasting friends. Since I will be moving to a larger high school, I will miss the smaller classes in the close community that we have here. I would like to thank a few people who have helped me and make so many of these memories. To start, I would like to first and foremost thank my parents and my brother for always supporting me. You guys have always given me a great foundation for, for me to grow on. You've always supported me along the way. Now moving on, I would like to thank a few of my teachers for few years that you've been teaching. The last teacher that I'm going to give a shout out to is Mr. Post. I always found myself looking forward to you PE classes in my day because of the fun activities and the comedic relief that you brought in each class. I'd also like to shout out a few of my closest friends that I've met here at Brown. I would like to thank Rhett, Sydney, Wyatt, Bryce, Evan, William, Nate, and Logan. I've made countless memories with these people, including camping trips, sport games, respectfully arguing with the We the People judges, and oddly over competitive games at recess, and many more. The list is endless, and my Brown Academy experience wouldn't have been the same without them. In the future, I would hope that everyone here in the eighth grade class finds success in the future. I would like to end my speech with a quote from Harold Melkart. Live your life each day as you would climb a mountain. An occasional glance towards the summit keeps the goal in mind, but many beautiful scenes are to be observed from each new vantage point. Class of 2021, I hope you reach your goals and also enjoy, enjoy the journey along the way. Thank you. My name is Abby Zadarecki. I came to Brown in preschool green. I've learned many things during my time here that I can't forget. And I owe thanks to many people. I've also made many memories like the time in third grade when I was forced to sit inside for recess for making a petition to remove math from the curriculum. Shout out to Ms. Leahy who first introduced me to my First Amendment rights. And thank you Ms. Carker for teaching me about them. Um, I, will take, I will certainly take this knowledge me to high school and beyond. Uh, thank you, Ms. Meyer, for putting up with us from our first year here uh, into stepping in from when our online Spanish teacher got sick of us. Um, thank you, Dad, for taking me to school even though I wake up late every day. Um, and thank you, Mom, for always taking me home. Uh, thank you, Mr. March, for teaching me how the world works. Thank you, Ms. Johnson, for taking care of me even after I left your class and tried to walk all the way home down Telegraph Road after an argument during recess. Um, thank you, Ms. Carker, for teaching me how to find facts to back up my many, many, many arguments. 
Um, thank you, Ms. Gerber, for letting me voice my opinions in your class, even if I could be a little bit long-winded. Um, and thanks, Mr. Post, for teaching me how to play numerous sports from the time I could barely walk to my final PE class. Um, thank you, Ms. Schaefer, for letting me play the cowbell, even though I couldn't follow a tempo if my life depended on it. Um, uh, thank you, Ms. Bean, for always encouraging me to pursue my interests in art. Um, but most importantly, I don't think my friends. You guys are the reason I come to school every day. I hope you don't forget me and my evil schemes and world peace game, uh, from, or the time I knocked out my tooth in Ms. Canavo's history class when I jumped up on a chair to sing High School Musical, or that time I got my, a wasp stuck in my hair every single time we visited Mountain Campus. That's all I got. This year has been extraordinary in so many ways. We have adapted and found new ways to learn. Do, doing group work to play outside, but one thing we couldn't recreate was raising money at games or through clothing sales. This has impacted the gift we are able to give back to Brown Academy. We want you to know that this does not mean we care any less about our school and our contributions. We are thankful that we are able to donate a beautiful willow oak tree for our community a place where we have grown up and, call, and have called home. We are glad we will be able to leave our mark on our lovely campus as the tree will have a plaque that states, thank you Brown Academy from the class of 2021. Good morning, everyone. It is my pleasure to address all of you today. So graduates, I like to keep things simple. Today, I'm going to present three simple ideas that I'm hoping you'll consider as you move on to high school. Number one, be patient. Transitioning to high school is going to be difficult enough on its own. There will be many factors, many variables. Balance will be so important for you as you learn to navigate your new surroundings and establish new friendships. Even for those of you who will attend the same high school, your friendship with each other will change and grow. Seek opportunities, but seek those that allow you to maintain a balanced day and week. Get involved and try something new, but do so in a way that you can sustain and in which you can give your consistent time and energy. Balance will be different for each of you, so establish your boundaries and needs at the start. As you settle in, you'll make room for more. Number two, stay true to yourself. Transitioning to a new school community is an opportunity. You have a fresh view of others, and they have a fresh view of you. It's a chance for everyone to grow and create positive connections with new people. Stay true to yourself, however, means doing so from the start. Your new relationships will be established based on what you and they bring to the table. Staying true to yourself includes making good choices, not only good choices based on what's right and wrong, but also good choices that take into consideration your personal goals and boundaries. And of course, this wouldn't be Brown Academy if I didn't remind you to learn from your mistakes. Reflect, don't deflect. And number three, do your work and study. It is school after all. You are there to learn and grow academically as well as personally. Turn in your work on time, every time. Take advantage of office hours, class discussions, and collaborative opportunities. 
Use your study halls or free periods wisely. Actively study for your tests and exams. Start early and break it up into bite-sized pieces. Your teachers will ask much of you. Set yourself up for success. Your success depends on you. Well, graduates, once a Bruin, always a Bruin. You are always welcome here, and you hold a special place in our hearts. We wish you friendship, happiness, challenge, and success. Stand tall knowing this community is behind you every step of the way. Congratulations. All right, we're going to begin the subject awards with visual art. Um, this year's eighth grade class is a particularly artistic one, and there were a large number of students in the running for the Visual Arts Award. With that in mind, one name rose to the top of the list, Abby Zadarecki. <laughs> Abby, you can come on up or you can wait until the end. <laughs> Abby is a remarkable young artist with an incredible talent and a great work ethic. In addition to this, a combination of three traits set Abby apart from any other student that I've taught. First, Abby is eager to explore new techniques and media. While drawing and painting are her wheelhouse, she is confident with 3D and digital art creating sculptures in plaster and paper as well as animatics during the past two years. She identifies skills she wants to develop and isn't afraid to ask questions, always keeping the end goal in mind. As an artist, she embodies the phrase growth mindset. Secondly, Abby is able to examine her work with a critical eye. If she isn't happy with the way something is turning out, she is readily able to identify the parts that still need work and usually has a plan of action to change them. She does a great job of analyzing art, both her own and others, and is an honest and pragmatic critic. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, Abby maintains calm confidence in her skills. Having confidence in your work can be difficult for an artist of any age, but the middle school years tend to be some of the trickiest. Abby exhibits a level-headedness that is rare for an artist of her age. She is able to take pride in work well done and seems to know that if a work of art doesn't turn out as envisioned, there's always a new piece of paper or canvas to explore. It's been a joy working with you, Abby, and I know you will continue to create fabulous works of art in high school and beyond. So the entire eighth grade class this year did a phenomenal job with their final capstone projects. Uh, and the student that has won the capstone award is someone who really synthesized the different skill sets that were required throughout the capstone process. Um, they showed deep understanding of their content area. Uh, they were thoughtful about the means of affecting change. Uh, and perhaps most importantly, they showed sincere passion for the work that they were producing. I told the students at the beginning of the process uh, that people who affect positive change in the world tend not to do so through methods that they find uninteresting or uninspiring. They use what they love, what they care about as the conduit through which their contributions manifest. Uh, and, and this student really embraced that approach to Capstone and to their work in general this year. Uh, and that student is Jane Marshall. Congratulations. <laughs> morning. It is my great honor to present the English Subject Award this morning. The decision was difficult this year. We have so many strong readers, writers, and thinkers in this class. Uh, there's only one student, however, who consistently read and finished every book 
the moment it was assigned. This same student showed amazing focus and dedication in my class and was always willing to work through draft after draft of an essay in order to get her argument just right. In addition, this student could always be counted upon for mature and thoughtful analysis during our class discussions, whether we were tackling the American dream, an allegory of the Russian Revolution, or the Civil Rights Movement. I am so pleased to present the 2021 English Subject Award to Deva Arthur. Over the last two years, I have seen this student move from a consumer of history to a student who engages with history. This is a vital skill, especially in this day and age when we are bombarded with information, true or not, at every turn. Knowing we have the ability and the right to question and analyze the legitimacy of what we see or hear is essential. This is a path less traveled by many, which is why I celebrate this student and her efforts. Her willingness to pause, think, and question led to a greater understanding of historical events, better class discussions, and successful group projects. Not only did this person push herself in history, but also show tremendous leadership skills towards her peers. It is my great honor to present the 2021 History Subject Award to Chelsea Coe. So I've written a letter to my recipient of the math award. Dear Sydney, I am incredibly proud to present to you the eighth grade math award for 2021. Since you came to me as a seventh grader, I've watched you grow as a learner, a mathematical thinker, and a mathematical communicator. I've been so impressed with your perseverance and your willingness to share your understanding in front of the class and when working with a partner. You are an excellent listener who is patient and open-minded, and you have made tremendous strides due to your ability to stand your ground and support your thinking. I am especially proud of how you have met difficult material with outstanding effort. You have learned that you don't need to memorize steps or processes if you truly understand why they work and what they mean. You have learned that understanding comes from questioning, practicing, studying, listening, engaging, wondering, collaborating, explaining. In other words, it comes from consistent hard work. As you head to high school and you show them all who's the mathematical boss, never forget that I am in your corner. I will miss having you in my class and I look forward to hearing all about your mathy adventures next year. Congratulations. This musician has gone above and beyond in music this year. They began the year remotely, but that did not stop them from being an integral part of the creative process, as well as creating and editing their class's sound logo commercial. Their steadfast commitment to their values shown through in our podcast project, where they and their partner, Abby, compared and contrasted Billie Holiday's Strange Fruit, the South African hymn, Tina Sizwe, which was vital to the anti-apartheid movement, 
and This Is America by Childish Gambino to discuss the role of music in social justice movements across time and space. In Spanish, they created an incredible music video about their familia. And finally, in the last two weeks, we squeezed in one more project to learn the song Oye Como Va by Carlos Santana, and this student jumped right into the role of conductor, leading sectionals and keeping everyone together with their score in hand. I can't wait to see what this musician will achieve in high school, and I really hope that Simone Forrest will come back often to tell us about her accomplishments. Uh, first, can I just say it's uh, super nice to see Tyler and Brianna sitting right here. It's great to see them. Um, obviously, everybody really, I mean, who doesn't love PE class? Everybody loves it. Um, well, yeah, that's right, Mr. Palms. Um, what separates this particular eighth grade student uh, is on a number of different occasions, uh, this eighth grade student went out of their way uh, to speak to a classmate and offer up some advice or a rule clarification or some strategy. Uh, and they did it in a very kind-hearted and genuine way. Uh, and they did it, about to cry, they did it without being asked uh, to do so. Uh, they did it because they simply knew it was the right thing to do in that moment. Um, and what I've tried to convey and I think this eighth grade student really grasps this, is that it is often uh, the small moments that can have the biggest impact. And so it is with great pleasure that we present the Physical Education Award to Hugh Sullivan. find myself with a little bit of a deja vu moment. This is actually the second time I'm giving this student an award uh, that she's earned. I did it last year at the science fair uh, as well. So I'm honored to present this year's science award to a deserving student. Many times students will ask questions just so they can do well on the test. This year's student is different. Every question is asked with a purpose. To understand the concepts on a deeper level just because. I've lost count of how many times I've heard the phrase, Mr. March, can I ask you a science question not about something from class? <laughs> she might not have realized it at the time, but that's a phrase that is guaranteed to make a teacher smile. Yes, Logan, you may absolutely ask me any science question that you'd like. Congratulations to last year's science fair winner and this year's science award winner, Logan Brooks. I don't even know that I can hide who the Spanish subject award is for this year at all. But I'm going to start with a quote. Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor says, I know only one thing about myself. I don't measure myself by the expectations of others or allow others to define my value. 
Maya, you have exemplified this over the last four years. You have shown determination, excellence, growth, amazing accomplishment with Spanish and outside the classroom as you've been my advisee twice. You have got, uh, you've demonstrated that willingness to learn. You've built the confidence in your abilities in Spanish and your abilities out in the world. I am so proud to award Maya Torres the Spanish faculty. The Alex Plain Endowed Performing Arts Award is presented annually to a graduating eighth grader who has demonstrated the same passion for music, drama, and the performing arts as former head of middle school and drama director, Mr. Klain. It has been a pleasure to watch this musician emerge from their shell, climb to a higher vantage point, and share their musical voice loudly and proudly over the last year. Does that sound familiar? You may think it is inappropriate to liken a student to a cicada, but both are truly awe-inspiring in the sheer volume of their presence. And I know this student and I also share a calm affection for the little guys. Unlike cicadas, however, they have not been sleeping for their previous 10 years at Brown. This musician has enthusiastically participated in the musical, handbells, private lessons, general music, other ensembles and incorporated their musical voice into their capstone project. In addition, they are a member of two musical ensembles outside of Brown, showing their deep love of and dedication to the performing arts, and I am confident they will continue this as they move on to high school and beyond. That is why I am pleased to award the Alex Plain Endowed Performing Arts Award to Ella Ruger. The Peter V. Alaferis Award honors an eighth grade student who exhibits the qualities of Mr. Alaferis, who was the first chair of the board at Brown Academy. This student demonstrates a strong love for Brown Academy, but also a great respect for an independent school education. This year's recipient would make Mr. Alaferis very proud. I am pleased to give this award to Hugh Sullivan. The final award today is the Marion Brown Award. Named after the founder of Brown Academy, and the, Br the Marion Brown Award is the highest honor presented to a student graduating from the school. It is merited by the student who, over their collective years at Brown Academy, best exemplifies the core values of Brown as determined by a vote of the middle school faculty. The student recognized this year is described as a kind, empathetic soul who takes an honest interest in her peers and her teachers. She isn't afraid of a leadership role, yet is a gracious classmate who seeks guidance from others. She's authentic, passionate, self-aware, and a supremely hard worker. Her work ethic defines, <laughs> sorry, her work ethic defines her and is a driving force of her academic success. This student never gives up. She's willing to take a risk in her studies and keeps asking questions, apparently, until she has complete, achieved complete understanding. 
Although Brown Academy has been her home for all of her academic career, typical of her nature, she's not looking back. She's excited for her future and the challenges that lay ahead. She is a lifer and a beautiful example of Brown's core values. She has a bright future ahead. And we're proud to call her one of our own. This year, I'm especially proud to present the highest award given at Brown Academy to Logan Brooks. You put it here. Did I? Oh, no. It's here. Or is it under? No. It's just here. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> Excuse me. So it is my pleasure to introduce Jeffrey Brooks, Chair of the Board of Trustees, who will present the diplomas to our graduates. Brown Academy has a long-standing tradition that trustees present the diploma to their child at graduation. This year we have two students who will receive their diplomas from their fathers. Mr. Bonner, would you like to come backstage in preparation? Oh, he is already here. Very, very nice. Deva Arco. <laughs> Rhett Barron. <laughs> Sydney Denise Bonner. Logan Marie Brooks. <laughs> Simone Mary Jeanette Forrest. David Ray Glover Barr. Oh. Sorry, David. I'll say it again. David Ray Glover Bar. Gabriella Sophia Gomez. William Eugene Jackson. Gabrielle Maria Johnson. <laughs> Chelsea Sehi Ko. <laughs> Gabrielle.
Jane Elizabeth Marshall. Nate Utah Middleton. Bryce Chiron Palms. Wyatt M. Parks. Eleanor Elizabeth Ruger. Evan Lewis Simmons. Charlotte Smith. Maya Claire Soares. Gregory Hugh Sullivan. <laughs> Abigail Rose Zadarecki. Graduates, please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2021.